For a tattoo artist, the body is a canvas of possibilities. This is called Road Rash. Tattoo without the commitment. Yep. <laughs> but Samantha Robb doesn't use traditional needles and ink. I like the creativity of it. I like the fact that it's not permanent. I'm not hurting anybody. I get asked all the time, why don't you do this for real? And it's like, I don't like needles um, and I don't like pain. This DOC administrative assistant unleashes her creative side at weekend festivals, comic book conventions, and the occasional tattoo expo. It's not unusual for me to um, paint a Jedi or decorate a Klingon or... Somebody asked me for pug life recently. Hmm, uh, most of the work that I do looks more like a real tattoo. So we have a lot of people who like to either test drive a tattoo, fake out and freak out their families. It washes off. I had real tattoo artists coming to me going, that, that can't be, that, that's airbrush? And I'm like, yeah, it, it is. Her interest in airbrush began with face painting as a small town librarian more than a decade ago. Her husband, DOC Captain Bill Robb, saw Sam's potential and gave her all the encouragement and the equipment to pursue her passion. He would go with me and keep my guns cleaned and I called him my guns, so he was my gunslinger. And uh, he'd keep everything running so all I had to do was say, hey, I need this color and he'd pop it on and hand it to me and and I'd keep going. The potpourri of colors contrasts the sometimes black and white world of employee rights and relations, where Samantha has spent the last three years. Both worlds um, have their needs and both worlds are, I guess, as they should be. Um, it's the yin and the yang. And so I think everybody needs to find that balance between their black and white and their um, Crayola 64 count box of colors. Um, and I think that's kind of what I get to do when I do this. I get to find my balance. Both worlds loved and supported Samantha through one of life's most difficult seasons. It becomes a community, um, so much so that when my husband passed, um, he had a brain tumor and he passed in 2016. But while he was ill, this community of people got together and they did fundraisers and they did, did different little events for my husband to try and make his last few weeks as comfortable as possible. And that's always just really touched me that these people um, pull together for him like that, just like my DOC family pulled together for us and, and did what they could to take care of us in, in, during his illness. And it's nice to see those two worlds being able to come together. Samantha Robb's world revolves around touching others. That was improv. With that same generosity, warmth, and kindness, it is a colorful tribute to the man who ignited her love for life, art, and the Department of Corrections. I love my tribe, both my DOC tribe and my creative, kooky, artistic tribe. I've come to realize that we can't do anything without the people around us. Um, if we don't have that tribe, that support system, that network of people, um, we're just this lonely little island in the middle of nowhere. Life hands you some interesting curveballs and shows you there's always, always something to live for if you just know how to look.